In my first year we had a compulsory workshop on EndNote, um, that was the first time, I think it was the first time I came into the library. We also had a specific um, reference searching and database searching um, workshop in my third year and then I know that there was an option to have one-to-one -one sessions and um, so again that was helpful for some of my colleagues. I remember um, some of the people on my course went along to those for some help. So in my third year of my undergraduate degree, um, we go on a placement um, that's called um, a professional context placement. Um, I was based um, in a local NHS trust um, with the voice team and we had to um, do a project for our, for our degree, but also for the trust that we're working with. So it was a professional document we had to come up with. And that was pretty scary, obviously, because we, we had to do it in a professional way. We had to submit it to the NHS Trust as a professional document. The library had told us, you know, we need to be careful about what sources we use. We need to be careful about what references we're, we're taking from. Um, you know, is it just a Wikipedia page or is it an official, um, you know, journal accepted uh, document? As I kind of came into contact with the library and used library search and had those extra workshops, kind of built up this knowledge of actually this is really important. Database searching um, is a really key skill um, that obviously showed through my placement experience and the document that I, I provided for them, which was really successful. So that was really great. So I saw my kind of progression of use of databases, use of searching, use of um, kind of collating information that I was finding kind of improved significantly I suppose through that placement. What I'll take on obviously this year I'm doing research in speech and language therapy which um, I'm using databases every other week. Um, I'm searching for literature every day. Um, I'm doing my assignments and things are very much about collecting uh, research papers, collecting information, bringing it together, synthesising it. Yeah, so many skills that I've kind of gotten from, from the library workshops, but also through my experience of using just every day, using those databases, using all that information in terms of sort of interviews and things, it's going to really nicely transfer because I'll be able to say, you know, specifically in speech and language therapy, I'll be able to say, you know, I've used these databases, I know where to get information on um, this particular client group of whatever interview I'm going for to take that into my job. Um, will be a great asset to myself and my team and my clients so it's really helpful in terms of that. I can definitely think of some advice and it seems really obvious. Uh, go along to library liaison sessions, go along to database searching sessions, EndNote reference managing sessions. They sound boring, <laughs> they sound like they're not really part of what you're doing, you've got lots lots of other things on, you've got lectures, you've got assignments to be doing. These skills that the library are able to provide um, and, and guide you in developing are so foundational for your assignments themselves. So I think, you know, being able to know which databases to search and how to search them well, um, yeah, I mean, without that, your assignments are just going to be a lot poorer. Then they're not going to be as good as they could be. Um, but these skills are something, uh, are skills that will, you know, help you throughout your degree first of all, and they'll help you in interviews. They'll help you um, in whatever you're going into to be able to say, you know, what I am, um, I can be at the forefront of research, evidence-based um, practice in whatever whatever area you go into. So for me, that's a really important part of speech and language therapy. Yeah, just remember that it, it's, it seems like and just another thing to do um, at the moment uh, or on top of all your assignments, but it, it's really important and, you know, I'm speaking from experience, so definitely go along to those sessions that you get given.